Today we're going to talk about the Torque Master Pro, one of my favorite motors in the catalog. One of my favorites. The Torque Master Pro is one of our original motors, and we do wind and build these all in house. The 550 length, a little bit longer, comes in 21 and 27 turn, and our 540 length comes in a wide variety of turns that you can actually just check out on the website, because I don't remember off the top of my head in the moment. So what is the Torque Master? Why is it special? These are three slot motors and three slot motors as compared to a five slot, like our Crawlmaster type of brush motor, these have more torque, thus Torque Master. I kind of try to do that with my catalog if I possibly can. So why would you want the Torque Master over, let's say the Crawlmaster? The Torque Master is going to have a lot more torque. That's a given. But when you need to accelerate really fast, the increased torque is going to give you that pop just as quickly as you possibly can for whatever you're running in particular. They also have better drag brake. They do also have better hill hold. So if we go to turn the shaft by hand, I can almost not do it on this 35 turn. And then on the 550, oh, I got one, I got two. It's pretty hard. It's really hard to turn these by hand. So when you get onto a hill and you let go, you don't even have to use like a hold brake function, which is starting to become more popular in ESCs. Our BRXL does offer that. But if you don't use a hold brake, then you're relying on the inherent Deaton force of the motor or how hard the shaft is to turn by hand. And if you're relying on that, you're not burning any energy to stay in one spot. So if you want something with that maximum hill hold for a brushed motor, if you want something that is going to have your best drag brake and you, your best pop off the line, the Torque Master, the three slots are the ones that you want. Now, we do also make these in custom pros. So if you want something that's not in the catalog, like we got a 35 turn and you want, let's say a 33 turn, something kind of odd, then you would get a custom pro and it is exactly the same motor, just with a different color sticker and the amount of custom that you want to it as far as whatever turn count that it is. We can also do that in the 550. I'm not sure if it's listed on the website or not. I should probably know these things. Let's talk about the actual quality in these. So the magnets in these are the strongest in our catalog, barring any of our neodymium style ones, but these have FB9 ceramic magnets in there, very high power. These are pretty much what the gold standard was back in the race days. They do have our gold plated brush hoods in there, really high quality, high copper content brushes. As you can see, they are fully rebuildable. You can throw a new armature in there. You can throw new brushes in there. You can essentially have an infinite service life if you keep up on them like that. They do have these little heat sinks, which look cool. Get a little, little heat sink action there. We also have this PCB on it that filters out a little bit of noise. Back in the days of AM radios in particular, and even FM radios, these were very, very necessary. We still put them on there just in case. Uh, these days are 2.4 gigahertz. We, uh, we really don't need these, but they do offer a little bit of uh, suppression of the ablation sparks you would <laughs> normally call it the the ablation of your brushes and your commutator will sometimes happen when you have a, you know start and stop and those those they help a little bit it's not a bunch but it's enough for me to keep them on there let's see what else that's that's pretty much the high quality parts we do have of course japanese ball bearings in there and everything is pattern wound let's see do i have do i have my tools ready to take apart Let's just show you a nice pattern wound armature. So since we do wind these in house, the armature is by far the best quality that we can possibly do for a brush motor. Laminations are very thin. That gives us the best efficiency. We only offer epoxy balancing on these as you can see that offers the best startup the best torque density and the best efficiency it is a little heavier so if you're looking for like a racing fast acceleration may not be exactly what you need for that but these are crawling motors these aren't racing motors we braze the commutator connection so you see you've got that copper wire coming in that's actually braze not solder braze has a much higher melting temperature i think this one's about 1100 fahrenheit versus most solder which is going to be somewhere in the like 600 700 fahrenheit range so if you're really pushing these hard then you're not going to just sling solder off and have your motor ruined you will essentially burn the motor up before anything goes wrong on these but as you can see the windings they're all perfectly even 
because with a three slot you can we get these perfect pyramids and that allows us to pack in the most amount of copper you get the most amount of torque you get the most amount of efficiency that you possibly can and just in general these are really high quality motors and we love producing them we've been making these in-house for quite a while uh, at first we contracted them out and then after enough time well honestly there were some changes that i wanted to make and the people didn't want to make them for me so they kind of forced my hand on it we've been wanting these in-house for let's see about 12 years now i suppose and that is one of our favorites so there we go if you got any questions about these leave your comments down below we'll do our best to get to them and otherwise i hope you like quality motors as much as i do and this one is one of my favorites let me know what you put them in as always thanks for tuning in have a great day you've made it to the end of the video hopefully that means you liked what you saw if you want to help out the channel you can like subscribe and definitely comment down below we would like to hear new ideas from you, so be sure you let us know what you'd like to see. There are some other suggestions probably floating by my head right now that you can check out. And otherwise, we appreciate your support and your help growing the channel.